Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Harpa AI and how you can use it to supercharge your SEO research completely for free. The only two things you need here is a free Google account so you can download their Chrome extension and a free account with ChatGPT. Now if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend everybody to join my AI newsletter where I'm going to send out hand-drawn AI workflows similar to this where you can start with a specific goal and use different kinds of AI tools to accomplish that task. I'm also working on a website where you can see some examples of these workflows. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to go on this website called harper.ai and download the Chrome extension. I already have it installed and pinned to my Chrome toolbar and this is what it looks like. Now Harpa has quite a number of functionalities and if you wanna see all of them, all you do is to type slash right here and you're gonna see a bunch of functionalities that show up right here with a menu for copywriting, learning, recruiting, generative AI, AI, spreadsheets engineering. I'm only going to focus on a few specific ones which are good for SEO. If you are starting out building a website which you want to rank on Google or if you don't know much about how keyword research works, I personally use Harpa because I don't want to spend $99 a month on something like Ahrefs to do my keyword research. Now before I get started on the five different ways you can use Harpa, I recommend everybody to expand this window using this button right here so you can get a larger space for your research. Now the first way I like using Harpa is using this keyword strategy generator for a specific keyword that I want to rank for. For example, I want to rank for free AI tools. So all I do is to click on the keyword strategy generator and type free AI tools. That will be my target keyword. That's what I want to rank for in general. So I'm going to just press enter. And now Harpa has given me an entire keyword strategy for free AI tools. To start off, it's given me a bunch of questions that I can answer using articles. What are the best free AI tools available? How can I find and use AI tools? These can be individual articles or these can be FAQs in my article that can rank for specific kind of queries that people search for. Some other related queries are AI tools for free, free machine learning tools, stop free AI software, free AI tools for beginners. There are some long tail keywords I can try ranking for, free AI tools for small businesses, easy to use free AI tools, free AI tools without coding knowledge. And then it has given me a bunch of keywords which are related to what I was looking for along with their search intent and usage. So we have free AI tools, which I was searching for. I can also try for best AI tools, free machine learning tools, commercial use for free AI tools, easy to use AI tools. As you see, there's so much information here that just using this result, I can actually get started with my work. I don't even need to do anything else. I can just copy this strategy right here and paste it to my document. And now I have something to work with. I can get started right away without having to worry and overthink. So I recommend all beginners to start with this keyword strategy generator so they can have a direction very early on. The next one is called keyword report, which is sort of related to the keyword strategy generator. And both of these are very good for early stage keyword research. So if I click on keyword report, it's asking for a keyword again, and it says create a keyword report and see a content plan from one keyword. So the keyword I'm gonna try ranking for this time is called AI art tools. And when I press return, it has now given me a bunch of keywords which I can try generating content for. It has also given me their search intent, a potential title for each of these keyword articles, and also a meta description for all of them. For example, let's look at this one, which is called AI painting tools. An article for this would be commercial intent, a potential topic could be unleash your imagination with AI painting tools, experience the next generation of digital artistry, discover the perfect AI painting tools for you. So this will be like a list of AI painting tools which I can create an affiliate article for, which will list maybe five or 10 AI painting tools. My favorite one here is of course AI art generator like Leonardo AI or Midjourney, which can generate unique and inspiring artworks with AI art generators with a title like instant artistic inspiration with AI art generators and when I create content for each of these articles I can then interlink them together to overall have my website rank pretty highly for this AI art tools keyword. 
The next way you can use Harpa is this functionality called Extract and Research SEO Keywords, where you can extract and research keywords from a competitor's article, perform keyword research, and find the keyword density and LSI keywords. For example, I have this article called 10 Best AI Tools for Business, which is ranking on page one for the keyword Best AI Tools. And I think this is a really good article and I wanna learn more from this article. So all I do is to go on that article and then click extract and research SEO keywords. Now it says, please paste the competitor's article content up to 3000 symbols. For that, I can go on this button right here called page text, which says send text from the open web page to AI. If the page content is above the GPT model limit, it will be truncated. So basically it'll get as much as it can from this article. So I'm gonna click page text and click enter. So it received as much information as it could based on GPT limits. And now it's doing my keyword research from this article. It's telling me that the main keywords of this article are AI tools, video generator, and AI writing. And it's also giving me the main LSI keywords. LSI stands for latent semantic indexing. These are words that are in the article that is helping with the search intent. For example, if someone is searching for video generators and this article somehow made it to the top of the result, for that user, it's because the search intent is being met. There are these words in this article, such as AI video editing, AI video creation, video editing tool, AI based video generation, and video content creation that is helping with that intent. So these are all feeding towards the search intent of that user who wants to learn more about video generators. And Harpa does all of that work for you so you can go to different kinds of top ranking articles for your niche or your keyword and you can do research from those articles and learn why they made it to the top. Now the next fascinating Harper feature I wanna talk about here is called Outrank SEO article. So I have this article which I know is already pretty good. Now I wanna somehow outrank this article. So all I do is to go on that article and click Outrank SEO article. It will then say write the name of your product and shortly describe it or leave it empty to parse product descriptions from the web page. So it's gonna either do the research for you or you can use content from this article to outrank it for a specific product that you are trying to sell. I'm gonna leave it empty for now and click enter. And just like that, I have a new article being generated on the fly, which is gonna attempt to outrank this article based on the information it found right here. Now, of course, I don't recommend using all of this text directly. I would take it to a different document and do some editing and add some of my own flair to it before publishing it. Now, you also might have noticed that this article kind of got cut off right here. That's because the amount of information on this article is too big for it to parse it completely. So instead, what I recommend doing is to use this functionality called grab and grab a specific portion of this article instead of trying to parse and outrank it completely. So I'm gonna click this grab button right here and then select a section of this article right there. So I'm just gonna highlight on the first part of this article which is introducing it and click on it. And now this whole piece of text gets copied. Now I can do the same thing again and grab some more. And for example, let me grab this piece of text right here and it gets copied as well. And of course you might need to edit this a little bit and add some space. Let me go on some more sections and grab some more. Let me go to this part, which says many recognize Jasper as the overall best AI writing assistant and click that. And now that gets captured as well. So now I have three pieces of text that are selectively grabbed from this article instead of trying to copy this whole massive article, which might not make sense. And now it's gonna give me a new version of that outranked SEO article just based on what I pasted right here. All right, now that you know how to do some basic keyword research and also analyze existing articles, we can now work on your six month SEO plan. So you can actually have some strategy long term on what needs to be done. So the function here is called a six month SEO plan. If I click on it right here, it says enter a list of keywords to rank by, leave empty to parse from the web page. For today, let me just try something simple like AI art tools, best AI tools, free AI tools, 
AI tools for programmers. So now it's going to give me a full SEO plan based on these keywords. All right, it says as a senior SEO strategist managing a team of SEO specialists, I understand the importance of creating competitive SEO strategies yield excellent results, particularly in terms of Google rankings. I'm ready to develop a comprehensive six-month SEO plan for your company. Month one is technical SEO. Month two is on-page SEO and content creation. Month three is on-page SEO optimization. Month four is off-page SEO link building. Month five is off-page SEO, local SEO, and online reputation management. And month six is ongoing optimization and reporting. So this is a pretty comprehensive plan. So as someone who is not a senior SEO strategist, this is a decent plan to get started with. And I think based on just the five functionalities that I showed today, you can get started on building a brand new content website and try to get it ranked. Now that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you got some value from it. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter and YouTube channel. And also click like on this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.